So well, here's some other properties that we know about motherese. Again, that speech that adults, particularly mothers, tend to spontaneously use when speaking to children. Uh, so the idea is that the content of what people talk about with young children, the topics, are about the here and now, right? You're pointing out the fact that, you know, there's a bottle on the desk, there's a kitty in the corner, right? Things that are, are visible, right, that are here and that are, are here right now as opposed to talking about the fact that you took the kitty to the vet sometime earlier, right? And one of the ideas about why this might be is that when you talk about things that are in the here and now that are, that are visible, that you can, you can share attention with the child when, when focusing on that thing, it's easier to link what you're talking about, the words that you're using, to the meanings that you intend, those actual things in the world. Now, of course, there is considerable individual variation in how well and how much caretakers do talk about the here and now when interacting with children, but it turns out that children of caretakers who do talk about the here and now more often do tend to learn vocabulary faster because it's easier to link words to meanings, right? Uh, another uh, interesting property here is about the, the way and the form that English adults tend to use, for example. So when talking about objects, English adults tend to say the name of the object last, like, this is the kitty, look at the kitty, what a nice kitty, right? Like, kitty is the last thing you're hearing. And in English, adults tend to precede that, that object label with a small set of reliable cues like the or a uh, or that, right? Things. So these are additional form cues uh, that are helpful when children are trying to figure out like what what word is referring to the thing that's maybe sharing a lot of attention which in what a pretty kitty or look at that kitty is the kitty in question right uh, another couple of aspects are that mother is tends to have very few grammatical that is structural errors like we don't you might think oh we talk in we talk in baby talk to kids we we say weird things true but we don't say like very often slips of the tongue or we don't garble what we're saying. We actually give them pretty good examples of like the right way to say things. We just say it with, you know, a different kind of maybe pitch contour than we normally use, but they have in Mother Ease here, very few grammatical errors, right? So that's, that's a nice, clean structural signal. And also in terms of um, attention, right? Adults tend to use gestures to secure children's attention and in general engaging children socially right and and why why again might that be useful well the more that you get this child to concentrate on the signal that you're producing the linguistic signal the better they're going to pay attention to be other they're going to be able to learn from it so it's going to be easier to link the words that you're saying to the meanings that you contend that you intend if the kid is in fact paying attention so in general engaging children socially that is with gestures with shared eye gazing you know any kind of thing is very important for the input to actually have an impact on kids so for example just sticking your child in front of a tv when they're very young they're probably, I mean, they probably will be entertained, but they're probably not going to actually get that much language knowledge out of it, right? In the same way that they would when they're actually interacting with a live person.